But but let's segue into Article 2, and we're going to be talking about the secret sauce in your sweat. So um, this this research is coming out of EPFL and a little star, startup called Accensio. They've developed this patch that you can wear on your arm, and it can detect cortisol levels that's coming out of your sweat. The reason this is important is because if you didn't know, just like I didn't know, as usual, before this episode, um, abnormal cortisol levels can lead to depression. It can be an indicator for burnout. It can lead to obesity. Basically, a lot of health issues. So what that's is why cortisol? Important. Is that the one that's like your stress hormone? Yes. Yes, it is the okay. stress hormone. And that's why it's important. If you're not regulating your stress levels, it, you can have you know side effects that affect your mood, your okay. physical health, your psychological health. So I, I didn't know the fact that cortisol secretion is actually needed in your body. It's usually synced with your circadian rhythm. So typically the way that they described it in this article, your body between 6 to 8 a.m. gets like a spike of cortisol. And then throughout the day, it's supposed to mellow out. But if you're if it's like below that or if it's above that, so let's say throughout the day, you have a very stressful job and you're, you're getting peaks throughout the day, that's not good. It's going to lead you to have sleep deprivation and, and, you know, suffer the things that I just mentioned a couple seconds ago. So that's the downside of it. And let, let's say you, you think you, you might be having some issues or you just want to get your cortisol levels checked out. Well, no problem. You can go to the doctor, you can take a blood test and they can check your cortisol levels, but they can only get that like one little specific check, like at that time of the day, what your cortisol levels yeah. are looking like. You're saying cortisol like goes up in the morning, down at night, can change whether you're stressed, change based on the day of the week or the other factors. It seems like this one snapshot from a blood test probably isn't very helpful in looking like the overall picture of what your stress health is like. See, this is why I love talking with you, man. Like you're, you're picking up what I'm putting down and that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yeah, like if you're just getting a snapshot, it's not really helpful. You want to understand what your body's doing throughout the day. So this group has an idea. They're, they believe that this with, with this patch, which by the way, is super cool. Um, Dan, you're going to love this. It uses graphene electrodes. And for Ooh. those of our listeners that don't know, Daniel and I met working at a lab doing graphene research. Making, making sensors. sensors. Yeah. yeah. So this is like near and dear to our hearts. Um, for our listeners not familiar with graphene, it's a carbon nanomaterial. And the reason it's used in these applications is because it has very high sensitivity, which allows for low detection thresholds. So that, that's the gist of it. That's the only takeaway you need to have. And whenever there is cortisol that is detected, the sensitivity changes. Uh, my bad. The detection, the charge changes, okay. which allows you to understand that you just sensed cortisol. So it's like this little sticker that you put on your arm or wherever. When you start to sweat, it can tell how much cortisol there in, is in there because the, the charge of the sensor changes throughout the day with your cortisol levels. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And if you track this on like a quasi real-time basis... The idea is that you could feed this information to your doctor and they could be like, well, if, if, if one of the things they mentioned is that psychological issues, people tend to report it from a subjective standpoint, right? Like I've been feeling down or right? so on and so forth. So when the doctor is prescribing um, a regimen to you, they could make sure that it's as effective as possible by understanding what your body's chemistry going through. And if they have that data point, it's another thing to reassure that the proposition will actually help you out. That makes sense. Like, especially if you have a psychological disease that's triggered by stress, it must be really frustrating to try to explain that to a doctor and not have data to back it up. Um, so, you know, if that ever happened to me personally, I'd feel a lot stronger, you know, being equipped with this information of this is what my cortisol levels are doing as well. Like now you have, um, you know, another data point to help treat me by. Right. And, you know, we, we've talked about like smart devices before and we've talked about an ecosystem before. I'm going to bring up the Apple Watch again or any smart watch. I can imagine something like this being incorporated into these devices down the road. And maybe it can give you like little notifications in the health app. Like, hey, it looks like you've been having a really rough week. You might want to like tone it down or something along those lines. I would have really appreciated that when I was in college. <laughs> Daniel, you probably remember like especially towards fi finals, I would lose like about 15, 20 pounds every semester. It, it yeah. was scary. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. Probably my cortisol levels were messed up yeah, now that I'm looking likely. back on it. Yeah. I, I like where you went with the wearables. There's a lot of stuff like the Aura Health Ring and there's these other new startups that help tra track your health by watching your glucose levels throughout the day. This seems right up their alley in terms of 
um, using like a new generation of biotech to help people be more informed about their health and their body and how they can improve their overall picture. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I think this is a great point.